Hello there. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to an exciting episode of Fandom Fights. We have an exciting one for you today. Um, not only because of the players, but also because Bill is joining me on the desk. Bill, today we have Maria Hammond going up against Bridget Colwell. Maria, a rookie in the in the league last year. Bridget, last time we saw her, she survived a retirement match, playing very well in that retirement match. Um, looking for a fresh start this year. I think this is a good matchup. How are you feeling about the matchup today? Uh, this is this could be a good time. Uh, I played Maria last season. She is just a hoot to be around. I have not had the pleasure of uh, meeting Bridget before today, but I did like watch her uh, previous matches you mentioned. And uh, yeah, yeah, looked uh, poised to upset the world. So absolutely uh, should be a let's good time. See, let's see how they're feeling uh, in the promos. Hey, it's Bridget. I'm really excited about today. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm ready to be competitive. I'm ready to play. Um, I'm ready to take a nap. These are all things that I'm ready for, and I'm excited to do them in that order. So yeah, let's go. Yeah. Hi. How is everybody? Uh, yeah, I am not competitive and ready and go. No, I'm I'm all those things. Not as not as excited as she is, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I try to do my best. I've lost by one point. I think every match I've had. Uh, so we'll see. Maybe she'll just keep that streak going, or maybe I'll get lucky and break away. Who knows? Uh, yeah, I don't think that'll happen, but anyway. And I hear that Jack was around the other day playing in a team's match. He's so annoying. Just wanted to make sure that everybody heard that. <laughs> I mean it, Jack. I love you. See you, see you soon. Bill, I don't know about you, but I'm always up for some Jack hate. God, uh, the Jack slander just is... Uh, he's Canadian. They're nice. Like Yeah. But but at the same... But, it's I guess just, but it's funny. But it's, I'm so sorry. And it's so <laughs> funny. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but with that, we'll get into round number one. Round number one is going to work like this. There's going to be 10 questions in the realm of fandom fights. Each player is going to have 15 seconds to write down their answer. At the end of 15 seconds, we will say pens down, at which point the players will review their answer and say it aloud. Each correct answer is worth one point apiece. Uh, should any individual player get all 10 questions correct in round number one, they would receive a bonus question. Each player will have three repeats, one challenge for the entirety of the match. Players, any questions as we get into round number one? All right. What's the first question, Bill? Uh, your first question will come in the categories of, as Tim says it, Jimmy B, James Bond. Uh, let's get there first. Hold on. Uh, what does James Bond steal from Q's shop before going on his mission, Inspector? Take a general answer. Yeah. Um, What's the coolest good. thing you've ever stolen? Ooh. Um... In someone's heart. I, I stole plans. Ouch. No. Space That's cool. plans. Space That's cool, plans. too. <laughs> Four. Three. I, I did not actually two. do that. <laughs> One. Pens down. We'll start with Bridget. A super secret piece of spy tech. And Maria. <laughs> he stole the car that was in the elevator. The car works. I don't know that it was that secret. So we'll go with the Maria. We'll take the 1 0 lead as we get to the second question, which comes in the category creature features. Okay. In Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, which ape does Carver shoot when first encountering the apes in the woods? I don't know about you, but being out in the woods is not my idea of fun. That's where I, I was all weekend. It's screaming in the woods i yeah. grew up in i grew up in the city being mm -hmm. out in the woods is like i that's no fair. no there's bears that's fair oh, i man, they're godless killing machines there are times when i would take <laughs> the bears over some of the characters i've met in the city 
Yeah, I don't have bear problems in South Philly. I'm just saying. <laughs> Three, two, one. Pens down. Go to Maria. I forgot the ape's name. It's one of them. <laughs> and Bridget. What a fantastic question. Wish I knew. <laughs> uh, both so close, but we were looking for Ash. Ash is. is oh, yeah, oh. that's it. That's oh. it right Maybe there. Yeah. For an ape. Should have yes. got that. Uh, Bill, what's the next one? Definitely uh, comes, a movie I've seen. Comes in a favorite category of mine horror icons. Okay. Oh, great. Malcolm McDowell appears in two horror icons films directed by who? That's my <laughs> fault. I think that's a whom. We're looking for whom. Fuck it. English is for nerds. I agree. You know what? Yeah. One, two, four, five. <clears throat> I can read. <laughs> One of them wrote very quickly, which I think I'm starting oh. to learn. <laughs> that don't mean nothing. <laughs> Three, two, one. Pets down. Go to Bridget. Wes Craven? Question mark. Good guess. Good guess. And Maria. Rob Zombie? Good question. Rob mark? Zombie is correct. Uh, Are you serious? Yes. Yeah, hundred percent. That Rob is Zombie actually is the answer. Yes. I'm. I knew it. I knew it all along. Maria, I feel like you and I have a very similar energy, and I'm really here for that. I'm kind of glad I got asked to host this. This is absolutely. A uh, your next question will come, will come in the Wizarding World. Okay. Which Wizarding World film features a creature called a basilisk? So, not to get ahead to what I might be saying in the post match interview, Bill, but at the end of last year, I did pitch these two as a team. Um, I would, I'm all for it. I may bring it up again later. We'll see, but for now, five, oh boy. four, three, two, one. Pens down. We will go to Maria. I bet I, I can't remember the name. Of, I can't remember his name. The, it's book number two. Does that count? That's <laughs> <laughs> no, HP, not not Hewlett Packard. It's <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> and uh, Bridget. Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter. Is it? it is Chamber of Secrets. It was the okay. second book for posterity, but Chamber of Secrets is what we're looking for. I could not remember the uh, name. Bridget cuts into the lead. It's two to one. Uh, what's next? Oh, no. <laughs> the category that haunts my nightmares, it's YA. Oh. Uh, name one of the two District 12 tributes in The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. So back to bears. <clears throat> so yes. fiance Knowles grew up in a fairly rural area okay. and they had like a random bear sightings like in high school. And I'm like, you fucking, you move that. I, I said, why bears, are you sticking around? I've had bears in my backyard. They've climbed the tree across from, I, these are all events. I remember from my childhood where they were kind of like, Hey, this don't is, come home off us. Cause you this said is why I'd rather be around a crackhead. You can reason with a crackhead. <laughs> True. Five, four. Also, her high school was shaped like the Millennium Falcon. I'll show you pictures. One. Pens down. Let's go to Bridget. Lucy Gray Baird. Also, is this the first question that I was just made, like, eligible for fandom? I think fighting? so. I think this is one of, if not the first. Uh, Maria. Two people I don't know. I haven't seen that. Probably not. They weren't in your that. kitchen either. They were not in your kitchen. Well, Bridget is correct. Lucy Gray Baird. The other one was Jessup. Uh, and with that, Bridget has tied the game. It's two to two. As you get to your next question, which comes in the category of DC. Okay. What job did Alfred have for the Waynes before and after their death in Batman Begins? So we can't talk about jobs. Correct. But we can Unless talk about it. bars finally and not fuck up an answer. <laughs> we can indeed talk right. about That's bars. what we call a callback, kids. Indeed it is. <laughs> it's, it's my That's not a great <laughs> I am such Five, an asshole. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. I'll go to Maria. Butler. And Bridget. Butler. Butler is correct. Uh, still tied three all. What's next, Bill? <laughs> uh, next question will come in the category of American Spies. Mm. And it is simply who plays the title character in Jason Bourne? Oh. Every time I hear Butler, all I ever think of is... Well, what do you do? I buttle. Yeah. <laughs> it's never uh, not a good time for a clue reference. Just yes, never. <laughs> and uh, he picks up. Uh, he picks up broken pearls. He picks. I only think man. of uh, some off-color Family Guy jokes where he says, "Buttle it." <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
four. <laughs> Three, Which reminds me, I still got to watch Ted. Two. Well, yes, you do. Pens down. We'll go to Maria. Matt Damon. <laughs> Bridget. <laughs> Matt Damon. I thought it might be him, but I also thought I might have mixed him up with another white guy who looks similar. That's fair. Matt Damon is correct. A lot of them. Um, yes. Four to four, Bill, as we get to the next question, which comes in the category of mixed bag. Could be anything. Great. Your question is, name one Star Wars film that features the character Newt Gunray. Bridget's reaction to the question. Just, I, yeah, I, just, I was excited about the Star Wars. <laughs> oh, Newt. Everyone you know, loves that um, character. Yeah, of course. He's Maybe. good in that one movie. Right. Man, another Four. one. Three. Wait a minute. Repeat. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Someone say repeat. Yep. She did. Okay, Bridget. Bridget. That is Bridget's first repeat. Question again. Name one Star Wars film that features the character Newt Gunray. <clears throat> thought I heard something and then thought I could just boil, 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 boil. I feel um, the same still way. Still, my favorite clue, uh, I don't remember what quote mean. is Madeline Kahn's famous flames. Five flames, four on the side of a face, <laughs> breathing, two, heaving, <laughs> hands down. We'll start with Bridget, episode seven, The Force Awakens, and Maria, The Last Jedi. Both, unfortunately, incorrect, uh, wrong trilogy. We were looking for the prequel trilogy, Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, and Revenge of the Sith. I was trying, yeah. The, sh the shitty one. I knew it wasn't the original trilogy. That's fair. Uh, Bill, that's our uh, next question. All right, your next question will come in the category of the MCU. Okay. In Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania, what type of location is Scott's daughter Cassie in when we first see her? We will take a general yeah. ish answer. Sure will. I'm sure that will be a lovely answer that yep. will not bring up any discussions. Definitely not. Nope. No discussion. Solid. Yeah, absolutely. We'll see if I get it right. I I have all <laughs> the faith in the world, both you ladies. So how many locations can there possibly be? How True. many can there be? You're so right. Five. Wait Four. a minute. Uh, repeat. Uh, repeat. All right, that is Maria's first repeat. Go ahead, Bill. In Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania, what type of location is Scott's daughter Cassie in when we first see her? Um, this movie is um weird. I agree. Bill, if you could add the word mania to a non-fandom film, which one would it be? Oh my god. Oh, like let Shawshank. me get back to you on that. Maybe like Shawshank Redemption Mania. Umbrellas of Churnberg Mania. Absolutely. Fine. I finally got it. I mean, I finally got what I was trying Three, to remember. Okay. <laughs> two, one. Pens down. We will start with uh, Maria. Go ahead. Hank Pym's house. And Bridget. I just said house. Both, unfortunately, incorrect. We were looking for jail. Jail. Also jail. known as prison. Or prison. Probably would have accepted I don't that. But yes, okay. she was in jail. I have not seen the movie, so that's fair. Oh, yeah, I have. You're not, it's, it, you're, it's it, you're fine. Yeah. Uh, all right, we're at four to four as we get to the final question of the round, which comes in the category of Star Trek. And your question is: Who ejects the main villain Crawl into space in Star Trek Beyond? I I love light bulb head guy in Quantum Mania. That's my favorite person. I want a whole movie just on him. That's fair. Yeah, Light and I still want screen. the series of Madison from the She-Hulk show. We, that's just her and Wong's adventures would be sure. amazing. Did you know Holtzman is is in Quantum Mania? I don't know. We'll see. I feel Holt. like you set me up for something. The Holes Man? Like the guy who's obsessed with the Holes? That's, uh, oh my god. I knew it. Four. Three. I, yeah, yeah, two. What that about? One. Pens down. We will go to Maria. Mr. Spock? And Bridget? It's been a few years since I've seen this movie, but I thought it was Scotty. Both, unfortunately, incorrect. We're looking for Kirk, Captain oh. Kirk. Captain uh, Kirk, Chris Pine, Captain Kirk? That's the one. The hot Chris Captain oh. Kirk, not the nice. toupee Captain Kirk. Fine! Uh, Bill, that'll bring us to the end of round one. I have the score tied at four all. Is that what you have? That's what I have. 
great. Then we'll move into round number two. Round number two is the wheel round. We have a wheel with eight fandom categories on it, as well as spinners and opponent's choice. Each player will get to spin at the wheel if they like, but they spin the first time they can keep it. If not, they can choose to spin again, but they will be forced to keep what they spin the second time. You'll get five questions in the chosen category, each worth two points apiece, unless you like check down a multiple choice, in which case it'll only be worth one and be on the lookout as stealing is available in round number two. Your categories on the wheel today are James Bond, Marvel, Law and Order, DreamWorks, Pixar, YA, MCU, and Creature Features. With that being said, uh, we are tied, but Bridget, you are the higher rank. Would you like to spin first or defer to Maria? I'll spin first. Fantastic. Then this will be your first spin. Lance on Marvel, on MCU Marvel. Can I spin again? You can spin again. All right. Mm -hmm. This is your second spin. You'll have to keep what it lands on this time. And it lands on opponent's oh, choice. Oh, it was so close. <laughs> Maria, uh, you'll be assigning Bridget a category. Do you need to hear them again? No, no, <clears throat> excuse me. No, I I guess I'll pick for her. Um, since you voted Marvel, no, I, I, well, I don't know. James Bond, I'll pick James Bond for her. Oh, no, yeah, we have some steals, maybe. <laughs> uh, Bill, I'm going to ask you to read the Sorry. questions of James Bond as soon as I get them. <laughs> the way the game goes, you know. They are there it's now. Not that I don't like you. It's just that I want to. I do no, I'm kidding. I don't care. <laughs> I'm having fun. That's why. Me too. Give me a sec here. All right, uh, Bridget, if you're ready for your questions in the category of Jimmy B. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. Your first question: Bond drives a car that transforms into a submarine in which James Bond film? Let's go multiple choice. Your options are A. The Man with the Golden Gun, B, The Spy You Love Me, C, Moonraker, or D, For Your Eyes Only. B, The Spy Who Loved Me. That is correct for one point. Good job. Oh, sick. <laughs> your next question. Okay. Who plays James Bond in The Living Daylights? Let's go multiple choice. <laughs> is it A, Roger Moore, B, Timothy Dalton, C, Pierce Brosnan, or D, George Lazenby? B. B is correct again for one point. <laughs> Good job again. All right. Your next question. I'm going to be so honest, Maria. I am guessing. <laughs> You're doing great. Uh, what is the name of the title sequence song from the film Casino Royale? Oh, let's go multiple choice. I think I know it, and I'm going to kick myself. Cool. All right. Uh, your options are A, Another Way to Die, B, Casino Royale, C, you know my name, or D, writings on the wall. Is it B, Casino Royale? <laughs> that is incorrect, Maria. Okay. Chance for a one point steal. Is it A, another way to die? B, Casino Royale. C, you know my name, or D, writings on the wall. I think it's C, you know my name. That is correct for one point. <sighs> Rest in peace, Chris Cornell. All right, your penultimate question. <laughs> Which James Bond series villain says the quote, no, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die? Well, let's go multiple choice. Is it A, Blofeld, B, Goldfinger, C, Dr. No, or D, Largo? C? C is incorrect. Maria, chance for a one-point steal. Is it A, Blofeld, B, Goldfinger, C, Dr. No, or D, Largo? No, Mr. Bond. I expect you to die. It's Goldfinger. That would have been embarrassing if you didn't get that right after that. Yeah, that was <laughs> no. Totally, that was totally that correct movie. for a one-point steal. Like, I watched that movie. Be... <laughs> Your final question. Okay. What type of crashing transportation do Bon and Kara have to jump out of that was carrying the drug lord at the end of the living daylights? Drug load. Could you repeat the question? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to give her Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. That was my dyslexia that I don't have. What type of crashing transportation do Bond and Kara have to jump out of that was carrying the drug load at the end of the living daylights. I'm going to go for it. Is it a train? That is incorrect, Maria. Chance for a two-point steal? That's a bummer. Is it a boat? 
is also incorrect. Working for plane. Oh, crashing plane. plane. He's play, it was playing. Playing, but respect. I, not my he got the boot. He crashing the threw me off because, yeah. like, I don't know. Blaine's crash. I, I, I was imagining in my head, like, crashing into something. Mm. Planes can just the crash ground. into the ground. The yeah. I was imagining a collision. Um, Bill, at, at the end of Bridget's round two, I have a tie with Maria Steele's at six to six. So That's have... exactly what I got. Yep. Great. Then we'll bring back up the wheel. And Maria, this will be your first spin. I'm having Let's a great time. It shall not be my last. Lands on YA. Would you like to keep it or spin again? I would like to spin again. You got it. You will have to keep what it lands on this time. It lands on creature features. Could it be any worse? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Could have been opponent's choice. Yeah. <laughs> it could have been, but this is just as bad. <laughs> uh, Maria, I'll be giving you your questions in the category of creature features. Are you prepared for them? Oh, <laughs> as well as I can be. Great. Your I first question. Shit. Which creature features film features an auction where multiple large creatures are the items up for sale held in someone's home? Jurassic Park. It's the it's the second one in the oh, my God. <laughs> In the trilogy of the new ones, the Lost Kingdom or the Kingdom, Jurassic World Two or whatever. I don't know how what the underlying name is. I'm sorry. Five. That's Four. it. <laughs> That's all you're gonna get. Two. I one. forgot I could do multiple choice, multiple choice, multiple choice. I forgot. Okay, that. multiple choice. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I always forget that. Maria, your multiple choice options are is it A, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, B, Godzilla vs. Kong, C, TMNT Mutant Mayhem, or D, Jaws 3D? A. A is <laughs> correct. <laughs> for one oh point. I, I was like, the who, most who, suspense who, I have ever I was thinking felt. Maybe she won't. Maybe she won't. Then I can get it. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking to myself, <laughs> I never remember the multiple choice. I never. I'm serious. In many, many matches, I've yeah, done that. that. Uh, Maria, that was correct. We move to your second question. Your second question Who plays Caesar in Battle for the Planet of the Apes? Uh, Andy Circus. That is incorrect. Bridget, chance for the two point steal. Oh, okay. I'm not allowed to go multiple choice, am I? You, you are not. No, no. Uh, what a great question. Uh, <laughs> Oh, Morgan man. Freeman. <laughs> that is incorrect, though. I would have preferred that. Um, the answer was Randy McDowell. Oh, oh, I'm know. thinking the new the ones. Of, I know. That's, yes, that's you're thinking the new ones. Oh my God, you guys are awful. Okay, <laughs> Maria, you I, I just read the questions. Yeah, I need to. <laughs> Maria, your third question: In what U.S. city does the final fight against Ghidorah take place in Godzilla: King of the Monsters? San Francisco. I know. Wait, multiple choice, multiple choice, multiple choice. I'll, I'll try to guess. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take multiple choice. I think she caught herself quickly enough. I did. So we're gonna I go tried. multiple choice. Your multiple choice options are: Is it A. New Orleans, B. Boston, C. Las Vegas, or D. Philadelphia? Holy shit! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say New Orleans. I can't imagine any of those cities. Uh, New Orleans is incorrect. Bridget Chance for okay. the one point steal your option. Go ahead, Bridget. Vegas? Las Vegas is also unfortunately incorrect. Wait, is it B Boston? This it doesn't Boston. count. We're Fuck. looking for B Boston. Uh, I'm sorry. So with that, we move to Maria's your penultimate question in creature features. Please get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> your question is. Which ninja turtle is living as a vigilante in the woods sent there for training by Splinter at the beginning of 2007's TMNT? A vigilante in the woods as a turtle. It doesn't get any weirder, does it? Let me think no. here. I don't think, it, you know, if I ask for multiple choice, you're going to tell me each one of their names, so that's ridiculous. I'll just make a guess. Um, right. I'm going to say Michelangelo. That is incorrect. Bridget Chance for the okay. two-point steal. Is it Donatello? <laughs> That's unfortunately also incorrect. We're looking for Leonardo. 
fuck? I don't think we could be any better matched. <laughs> I, I agree. This is, I'm glad I did this. This is the best night of my life. <laughs> Maria, you have one more question in Creature Features. Do uh, I? Do I really? You do. You do? You have to be full of this. Tabs every, every match. You get five. Yes. <laughs> Your final question. What is the name of Quint's boat in Jaws? Oh, my God. I've seen this a million times. I know this name. Come on. Oh, multiple choice. <laughs> Again, I almost forgot. Your multiple choice options are is it A, the albatross, B, the orca, C, the kraken, or D, the hammerhead? Uh, B, the uh, whatever it was, orca. B is correct for one point. Yeah. And the end of round number two, Bill, uh, after that, Maria Thank you, Jesus. takes the lead. It is eight to six. Is that what you have? Oh. That is what I got, yeah. How in the hell did that happen? <laughs> Great. Then we will move. <laughs> We'll move on to round number three. Here's how round number three is going to work. It is the betting round. We have uh, five more questions in the normal fan fights. Once player get the category, they can bet anywhere between zero and two points on the question. If they get the question correctly, they will gain those points. If they get the question incorrect, they will lose those points. We will play until someone is mathematically eliminated or we have reached the end of the match. Players, any questions as we get into round number three? No. I haven't. don't remember exactly how this goes, but I'm sure you'll I'll figure it out. Well, well, yeah, well you just well, explained well. it. Yeah. I can tell you right now, it's going to be a shit show. <laughs> <laughs> the first category you can bet points on is horror icons. Okay. Let's get bets starting with Bridget. I wrote down one. And Maria. Zero. I know my limitations. Fair. Fair. All right. <laughs> Category fucking I'm, suck. I'm risking it. I'm Your risking question horror, horror icons. icons. What is the last name of the main killer Pamela in the original Friday the 13th? I know this. Fuck. Yeah. This is just unbelievable. <laughs> Bill, this is uh, your shoe or an appropriate shirt. <laughs> Who doesn't love Mystic Pizza? <laughs> Truth. Me? No, I don't. Oh, I don't have. It was. It was. An opinion. It was, honestly, it was delicious. So me and fiance knows we went there. We went to Mystic. It was, it was cute. Cute little five. Time, so four, three, two, one. Hands down, Bridget. All right, cool. We'll start with Maria, who bet zero. Voorhees. And Bridget. Uh, I said, fucking shit. I made a calculated risk, but man, am I bad at math. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Voorhees. Can you imagine if I was like, yeah, that's correct. That's, Can you believe that, that I know that? Uh, Voorhees was the correct answer. Maria bet no points. She'll stay at eight. Bridget bet one. Uh, she will lose one point, go down to five. It's now eight to five. Okay. Get to the second category, which Bill is going to tell you all about in just a moment. Go ahead, Bill. What's the category, category you can bet points on is DreamWorks. Let's get bet starting with Maria. I'm not going to bet anything. I'm not good at DreamWorks. I know this. <laughs> and Bridget. I'm betting two. All right, Bill. What's the question? All right. Oh wait, hold on. I got to get it in the frame here. And I lost it. Hold on. I'm sorry. Technical difficulties. Please You're stand good. by. All right. Nope. Sorry. Hello, I am having killer. a few problems here. There we go. In the boss baby family business, Tim's daughter, Tabitha, needs to do what for her performance at school? Take it general. Yeah. <clears throat> Man. It would be weird if we asked for oddly specific. That would be. I would agree. One day, one day, I want to say the answer is going to be oddly specific. Yeah. Oh, that'd be great. I can't. I'm going to use that one, Bill. Someone's going to ask me like, how's, and I'm going to be like oddly specific. I part time run a week. I think we're going to. I'm instituting that one day just to fucking watch Four, people's faces. Three, two, one. Pens down. Sorry, Maria, who bet zero. Be good. Fair. And uh, Bridget. This is a movie I haven't seen, so another calculated risk. But man, am I bad at math. I said memorize lines? Both, unfortunately, incorrect. We're looking for sing. She needs to sing. I mean, sing, you have to sing, memorize. Sing, sing. Uh, so Mar sing Maria will stay, once again stay at eight. Um, Bridget will go down to three. It's now a five-point game. This is really unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> as we get to the next category, you can bet points on that category is epic adventures. Let's get back to starting with Bridget. I'm betting zero. I'm making a calculated risk and I won't lose shit. And Maria. Same here. Yeah. Great. 
<laughs> All right, then. Your question in Epic Adventures. Which Indiana Jones film features an alien? <laughs> well. I am so upset right now. Yeah. Happens. Just. I, could... okay. I want to get into it, but there's a personal stuff happening here with me. That makes sense. Okay. I think I actually know the answer to this one. This is really fucking. Like, I'm not having a good time. <laughs> I was having a wonderful a long time one. until I heard Indiana Jones and Alien. Four. So, three, two. She's still right. One. Okay. That is down. We'll start with Maria, who had zero. Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. And Bridget, who also had zero. Dial of Destiny. And your winner, Maria Hammond, uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, was the correct answer. Uh, both Yay. players got zero, which means it was kind of over before we read the question, but uh, it's okay. Uh, we'll take the players out. Bill, thoughts on this match? I think it's one of the better ones. <laughs> Apologies to Jack Pinchuk, Crackheads, and Bears. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> with that, uh, we'll move into some post-match interviews. We'll talk. Oh my God! Please, let's right do now. this. Uh, Bridget, post-match, I think you played well. You you kept pace with Maria. Um, I think that's spun... the best I've ever done in the first round. If I'm being so honest. Yeah. And you spun opponents and were given maybe the worst possible thing you could have been given. You still guessed a few points out of it. So I, I did. Think... I was really surprised. I'd say overall, this was a good game played by you with some calculated risks taken in in, in some of the wrong places. But uh, that's the story. That's how the story goes. Um, I still think you played well. I, th I still think this was very fun. How are you feeling about the match? I feel pretty good. This was a really fun match. And also playing against Maria is so much fun. I feel like we're the same person. And I think you mentioned like us being on a team together, and I think you were right. I had never met Maria until today, and now I'm like, I'm happy to be here. This was great. <laughs> Sweet. I thought that might happen uh, from this. So <laughs> we'll talk to Maria, see if maybe she feels the same. Uh, but yeah, Bridget, um, you are safe from retirement for now. You just won a retirement match, so therefore you, you got a ways to go before you find yourself in another one. Um, you lost today, but is there anyone you want to play next time you come back? Um. I just don't know. Um, I feel like, I don't know, like, I I, I want to play against uh, Adelaide Spence. I feel like just because we're like friends, we know each other, I feel like I would get really, like, aggressive and competitive, and that would be a lot of fun. Thank I don't you. know if they play in this, like, realm they anymore. They but do. They do. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I was waiting mind. for Jack Pinchuk. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. I don't have beef with Jack the way that Maria does. He is Maria's Canadian. They Jack, are weird. I don't have beef with Jack. The craziest part I is I don't think happen. Maria or Tim, I don't think anyone has beef with Jack. It's just the... It's it's just, he's Jack. It's just funny now. It's just... <laughs> uh, but, uh, Bridget, congratulations on a match well played, uh, and we'll see you next time. Maria, back in the winner's circle uh, for the first time since your first match. Uh, it's got to feel good. Uh, how's it feel? Chuck. Well, I've got a little better at strategy. I'm sure I'm good at remembering multiple choice, yes. but I do remember uh, every time I've bet stuff on categories that are not my, I know I don't do well at, I always lose. So this time yeah. I was like, I ain't going to bet nothing. But yeah. thank you for letting me play. That was fun. And she's a hoot. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, we're <laughs> the same person. She just, <laughs> I feel like we'd be, probably be a great team. I know all the older things. She probably knows I was going to say, like, your, your strengths yeah. and Bridget's strengths are opposite. Um, yeah. So like while you are you are while you two are very similar like personality wise your strengths really complement each other. If you yeah two want it might be fun. Match, I'm ready. If she awesome. wants to do it. I'm I'm all for it. Can I pitch um, the team name? Please. I'm afraid to hear name. what you might say. It's, it's gonna yeah. be you know the girl crackheads. No. <laughs> you, hear, all right. Hear me out and just and just give me this. Jack sucks. Jack sucks. <laughs> No, I, you know, we all know. Okay, let, let's get ready for this. Jack is a good guy. It's unfortunate know, yeah, that his personality that. is so grating and so awful. He gets on there. I'm annoyed before he even opens his mouth. I saw him the other day in a match with some of my friends, Brian Deucebaum and Eric uh, Marina, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, you have to play Jack. Now they're going to be talked down. I mean, 15 minutes after the match, it's going to be okay. Yeah, you played him. He beat you. And it ain't going to happen again. You know, that kind of thing. Because he's really like... 
I'm ready to jump off the ledge. But no. Tim, Jack, you are welcome. I kid, I kid. Oh, I love God. you, Jack. You're very nice, and you've already oh, been nice God. to me. So it's too yes. bad that you suck so bad, but I can't help that. Oh, my God. I've done it's all I can. Jesus. I'm a so brain funny. movie type. But uh, no, there's no. It's so for funny you. how you can't take it back without adding one more. <laughs> um, I can't take oh, it back. Maria, it's for fun. I hope he knows that. Maria, congratulations on the win. Thank you. Uh, I, I hate that I beat her. She was so much fun. I wanted her to kind of win in a way. Yeah, I mean, I always pay these people that are always, you know, oh, you should have known that, shouldn't you? If you're James Bond expert, it's like, well, fuck you. I don't know everything. You know, I know I know a lot, but I don't know everything. But she was very nice, and I liked her a lot. So that's cool. Great. That's cool. That's Listen, the best match I've ever had. Match, really. If you two want a oh, team's yeah. match, I will book it. Um, absolutely. Um, <laughs> but Maria, you won this singles match. That means you'll be playing again. Is there anyone you want to oh, play? No. Do you want to play Jack? Do you want to? <laughs> no, I don't want to play Jack. He's good. <laughs> Are you that's crazy? Fair. Pick somebody that sucks and then let me give it a try. <laughs> like a bar? Like an uh, bar? I don't know anybody. Suck, I, don't but... know anybody. I don't know cool. anybody. Great. Um, then, Maria, we will look forward to your next match, which will be uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, wow. Congrats, that's congratulations amazing. Congratulations on the win today. Uh, and maybe we'll be seeing you and Bridget uh, in team. I'm sure to lose soon. next time, though, but thank you for letting me have this one. <laughs> no, of course. It just keeps uh, that, you know, that, that hope in there. She might actually win another match, maybe if she's lucky. So thank you. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to I lost to, to see Bill, you. too. That sucks, too, Bill. I like you, but that sucked for me. <laughs> I mean, I had a great day. I don't know. I know you did because that got you back to where somewhere you needed to be. And I was like, well, see, you sacrificed yourself for him. And that's not true. I tried really hard. <laughs> And Maria, you just beat me. Maria, we will see you again real soon. Uh, okay. We're looking forward to it. Congrats Thank on you. Win. Love you, everybody. Bill, wrap this up for us. Give us the, the quick pitch story of, of what today was. Okay. I remember somebody said to me, um, if you, if your name isn't Bill, I don't fucking want to hear you cut a promo. And I think uh, fucking Maria took my crown. And uh, holy shit. Yeah. Oh, that was, whoever uh, does the end of the year stuff, I need a fucking whole like that's just got to be some kind of real. I don't care where it is, just put it in there. Yes. And uh, this, this, oh my god, this is the best night of my life. Absolutely great, great night, great match. Congrats to Maria. Congrats to Bridget. Uh, thank you to you all for checking out this great match. Thank you to Tim for editing this one. Thank you to Bill for being on the desk with me. Uh, and we'll see you all next time with another great match from Fandom Fights. Mm -hmm.